next exercise in the five main exercises now sare sa sa now how do we play pada papa you you are you're here stuck with your little pinky finger and pa but we have to play dha how do you play dha so we change fingers we switch now now pa becomes your second finger in one bow 8 in one bow 16 in one bow maximum is 32 in a bow so so i played i was playing four but the key to playing this is not one is moving the bow in an even tempo and even pressure which i have maintained that you have to always use this the other thing is the clarity the lifting and putting your fingers back on the fingerboard okay sa sa re re ga ga that should be heard okay so now eight in a bow So you can do anything you want. Sixteen, thirty-two, but it all has to be even. Okay? You double up. Now the next exercise, the last of all exercises before we start rag. Now watch. Now I'm changing the finger of ma. So I'm going to use the first finger or the index finger for ma. Because I have to fit in dha, pa and dha. Remember in the earlier exercise we did So So I brought this index as my ma uh, here. Because if I had my uh, uh, second and third finger here in ma going up would be difficult so to make it easier index becomes ma now you watch i could have played that but i'm introducing a different element which will help us with our playing later so i'm going to shift from this first finger to the third finger ma ma would be like okay the tendency is this to drag your finger so you drag it like this no you have to take and switch lift and switch then
again. Again, it's how fast you can do it. Okay. So it's up to you. But try to keep it even when you bow. Yeah, maybe two in a bow, four in a bow. Okay. So that finishes our list of beginner's exercises on the violin.